So I don't know what's going on with my stove. Like right here, it will not, this stuff will not come off. And I don't want to stretch it, you know, with no abrasive cleaners or anything. So I purchased this cleaner on Amazon. So I have this barkeeper's friend. So I'm going to see um, if this will get this off of my stove. I'm so disappointed. Um, so I'm going to clean my stove. It doesn't say mix it with anything, but on YouTube, I've been seeing people mix it, you know, with a little bit of water. So I'm going to make a little paste and I'm going to put it on this area here that I want to get my stainless steel co color back like, like the rest of my stove. That's the plan for this area right here. So I'm just going to put a little in my little bowl. I use this bowl to mix a lot of stuff in. I mean, it's actually a cup. I don't need very much because that's a small space. But y'all know I'm team too much, so I'm probably going to use too much. So let me put a little water in it. So I'm going to add a little water. I probably put too much water. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. I'm going to add some more of the barkeepers in there. So I added quite a bit. I think it's a little bit too watery for me. I'm going to have barkeepers all over the place. I'm going to have to dust. I want it to be like a little paste. I think this is the texture that will work for me. I don't want it to run all over the stove. I want it to sit in that one little area. So let's go over here and put it on the stove. So I'm here at my stove and I'm going to go ahead and start putting it on the space where I want it. I'm gonna make a mess. I already know. I'm gonna make a mess. Look at there. I'm already making a mess. But once I get a little on here, then I'm gonna go ahead and like sp spread it out. I don't know why my phone is getting dark and you know it starts off light and really pretty and then it gets dark. I don't know why my phone does that. Because it, it takes really nice pictures and does nice videos. This is my phone. I don't, I'm not using a camera. So let me go ahead and um, spread this out. So I'm going to use this pad here that I'm pretty much ready to replace anyway. Can this come off? Oh, this comes off. Uh, duh. <laughs> I had no idea that came off. I'm so silly. Let me put some more stuff on here. I think this is coming from the fire itself. It's not like, I don't know what this is. Maybe we use this eye a little bit more. I like, I didn't have enough of that already there, but I want to spread it out so that it gets everywhere. I'm going to put some more because I want it to. And then I also see some stuff over around over here. But over here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that off. Oh, I'm <laughs> I can just take this off. Y'all can tell that I am definitely not a cook at all I had no earthly idea that I could take this off yeah I can take this off and clean it mm-hmm I can take this off and clean it okay everyone so I came in and totally forgot I was filming this process so anyway I have my little wipe here and I'm just going to start scraping 
and it looks to me that it's getting oh my goodness it's getting the stuff that I wanted off it's getting it off this is so awesome so I don't know why my camera stopped getting light here so I have to lighten it up some more so yeah so it's coming so clean here this is awesome right I'm so happy here because I wanted to make sure my stove stayed nice and clean I know we cannot keep some of the stuff from happening with fire when stuff is around fire and heat but I didn't want stuff that I can control to take advantage of me and get out of control like I'm not sure if y'all seen my refrigerator on how I cannot get the mold off the coils or whatever they call that stuff where some of this is not coming off but I'm gonna soak that some more but for the most part it is coming off I don't know why the yeah it's coming off so let's let's let this soak some more I'm gonna let this soak some more before I come back to finish this. Okay, love, so I know I used extremely too much of this product. I tell you the truth, it took me forever in a day to get this Barkeeper's product off of that stove. I had to wipe and 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 I had to wipe. So anyway, be mindful of how much of the product you use. I don't know if you need, even need that much. But I watched a video that said to use quite a bit of it in order to get your surface clean. There's a certain texture that you have to have. So bottom line, look at my stove. It came out so clean. Now I did put some a few little stretch marks on it. I don't know if it came from my nails or whatever. But I am loving the outcome. I will definitely keep me some barkeepers on hand because I am using my stove liner. But there's only so much that that stove liner can do when it comes to fire, when it comes to heat and things like that. So anyway, I hope that this video inspires someone on how to clean their stove. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.